go to the website or download host of the custom ROM you want to flash. Make sure you get the build that is for your device. If you are a Google Apps user, then you need a Google Apps package to flash. Most ROMs do not include Google Apps by default, but on the rare occasion that they are included, you do not need to flash them. I keep my ROM and Google Apps package together in one folder to find in TWRP recovery later. If you want to make a quick restore of your apps after installing a new ROM, then try the app Migrate. When that's done, boot into TWRP recovery and make a backup of boot, system, vendor and data. Backups of data do not include media such as photos. The backup will allow you to restore your current setup in the case that you need to revert to the previous ROM. Now go back to the home screen and head over to the wipe option. If you're moving from MIUI to AOSP, or AOSP to MIUI, then you will need to format data. This removes everything from your phone, including photos. I use advanced wipe to wipe cache, system, vendor and data, so I keep my photos and files. The apps are wiped. Now you can install the ROM and Google Apps. I do root my device with Magisk, and this enables me to restore the Migrate Backup. I flash those later. Select the ROM and then select Google Apps to flash together. Pie with shit with love from Russia. Spasiba Andrei and Sergei. You can reboot when it completes the process. The first boot can take longer than usual as apps are optimized. After booting and setting up Google Apps, I go straight back to recovery to flash Magisk and the migrate backup from the last ROM. Reboot again, and you'll get a notification to restore the Migrate Backup. You can't do it right away since Magisk will need to be started once to allow super user requests. Open Magisk Manager and check it installed correctly. Go back to the Migrate notification and continue with the restore. You'll need to reboot to get the restored data working. Here's the information page for the ROM. Voice over LTE is working great and there are additional settings in the ROM. This includes theme support, notification mods, power saving extensions, app options and so on. Baikal OS isn't big on features but it has the key additions for a lightweight but extremely useful experience. Thanks for watching, I hope this tutorial helps you quickly move between custom ROMs.
Thank you.